This week's Torah portion is called Parshas Noah, and it is about Noah. And we understand Noah was righteous in his generation. His generation is described in the Torah as one that was filled with corruption. And the word for corruption in the Torah is Hamas. And the commentators ask, what is this corruption that the world was filled with? And they answer that it was robbery or thievery or grabbing for themselves. There was a pervasive selfishness. People were takers. It was about themselves. God said, this isn't the foundation of the world. I'm going to wipe out the world. I'm going to bring a flood. And Noah, who is righteous in his generation, you shall build an ark. And into the ark will go your family, will go the animals and the birds. And then there will be a new world that will start with the, con with the people and the animals and birds that are in the ark. So Noah builds this ark and it takes him 120 years to build this ark. And people come to him and say, what are you doing? And he tells them. But he is also faulted for not going out and preaching and telling people to change their ways, that God's going to bring a flood and they should rectify their mistakes. They shouldn't just be givers, uh, takers. They should change. He doesn't do that. And he also is faulted for not arguing with God and saying, God, don't do this. You know, let's find a way around this. He doesn't argue with God. He does exactly what God tells him to do, which is why he's described as righteous. But in his generation, that was a generation of about oneself. So Noah and his family go into the ark with all the animals and all the birds. And for a whole year, Noah and his family are taking care of those animals. They're feeding them. They're grooming them. They're getting rid of their waste. They are hardly sleeping because they are engaged in giving and kindness. So Noah and his family left behind a world filled with takers. And now they're in the ark for a whole year learning and doing kindness. So we live in a world with Hamas. We live in a world where we are enjoined to learn from Noah and his family and be people who give, who give outside of ourselves, who give to people we don't know, who give to people that we do know, but in higher ways, in bigger ways. The Rambam speaks about two kinds of kindnesses, the kindness we do for each other because we're part of a community or part of a family, and I'm kind to you and you're kind to me and it's all good. And then says the Ramban, there's another kind of kindness. It's the kindness shall emes, a chesed shall emes, that we go above and beyond. We go to people we don't know. We go above what's asked of us and we're extra kind. And that's the kindness I believe that we have seen in our generation where people are doing for each other, where people are feeding each other, where people are sending money to Israel, people are praying for each other, people are paying for people they don't know and giving to money they don't know and feeding people they don't know. And with a people who are enjoined to be like Noah, to give unconditionally, to give above and beyond what's expected of us because we want to be those kinds of people, because we want to put that energy into the world. And may we be able to do more and more of those kindnesses to blot out the Hamas and blot out the corruption that exists in our days.